All right, we just hit Legend. Uh, I'm guessing because we've surpassed 10 million earnings. It is the final day. Yeah, about that. I did kind of forget that we needed to uh, get the rest of these. <laughs> Oops. I wanted to also sell off everything. Like, all the produce and the boxes and stuff. Not that those would result in as much as the wines, but... I think we might be able to hit... Five, five million uh, total cash on hand, which would be pretty exciting. I think that would be nice. All right, we got 180 silver strawberries. Strawberry wine, I should say. How are we doing over here? Really? Oh, I wonder if uh, the deconstructor also destroys the uh, the hardwood and turns it into regular wood. That might be. That's annoying if it is. Um, I guess we'll come back and check on these. Maybe it might finish. So we are going to have to eat something. Let's go ahead and eat one of these uh, spicy eels just to get our energy back up. Oops. Did not want to pick up the beehive. So I believe there's something in Ridgeside Village. I'm actually a little surprised we didn't get the mail for it. I guess, uh, you can't. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see if we can get this connected so that uh, I can not have to do this all manually. So, this is going to drain literally everything out of our inventory. You do not want to do this normally. But, this is what I'm going to do to, so that we can sell everything that we need. Goodbye, farm. All of our hard work. <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of sad, not going to lie. I love how you can still hear it. <laughs> uh Oh, that's actually kind of annoying that you can still hear it from here. Hopefully it finishes before uh, the festival starts. Oh! Wow! We're, we're finally here, guys! Oh. Uh, the series, at this point, I think is the longest series that we've done for the channel. I don't remember how many episodes uh, we're currently at, but I think it's upwards of 160. And that was back in, like, fall, so it's probably closer to, like, 180. Yeah, that and the chest is definitely going to take some time, but I'm I'm really glad that we got to do this series. This up until like 
up until like fall of year three. I think it was a lot of fun. Work, and it's not that this isn't fun either, but we're the end is in sight, or the end was in sight, and we knew that we were going to be finishing up this series. So I didn't want to put too much time and effort into stuff that ultimately wasn't going to make a difference. But, that being said, I don't know what time this actually starts. Um, that being said, I still have really enjoyed this last, like, couple episodes. I know I've been trying to, like, cut a fair bit of it out just because there's not there's not much going on. Don't really want to waste all of your time on stuff that, you know, isn't ultimately going to, isn't going to make much of a difference and anything that we can finish up is great. Otherwise, just kind of keep a uh, Just try and um, finish up all that we can. Get as much as we want done. I know there were a few goals that we ended up not reaching. Okay, so it sounds like it stopped. I guess it stops when the uh, time stops. So, that being said... We are definitely going to be taking this opportunity to talk with everyone one last time. Penny, how's it going? Happy New Year. Despite the cold, I think I'm having lots of fun. Happy New Year. Flora doesn't seem to be bothered by the cold. I wonder if people in Richside Village have developed somewhat of a resistance to cold. I think I should make a resolution. I should make it a point to rest sometime hike up here was a bother, but the cable car ride was great. Such an amazing view of the whole valley. The hike up here was a good workout. You should visit this place more often. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Happy New Year. The mountains here are so clean and calm. Yeah, okay. What would be some good business additions or ideas for the next year? Scusi. I was just talking to myself. Scusi. Brr. I hope they light the bonfire soon. Oh, hey Jennifer. Happy New Year. Leia is shivering. Oh, good evening, dear. I'm fine, don't worry. Just not used to the cold and all. Except Malaya. Hun, are you alright? Shivering is worrying me. Hmm. Oh, hey. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, lass. With every passing year, my heart yearns for you more intensely. Ezekiel's staring at the sky. Happy New Year, Helen. Aw. This crazy kid must have started th this idea of burning logs on the mountaintop a long time ago, and for some reason it became a tradition. I don't really mind it, though. It brings everyone's uh, familias together. We promise uh, each other and that we'll be better next year. That's a good thing, no? Happy New Year, Miss Jennifer. Oops. I um, guess they must have more dialogue past the uh, Happy New Year. Those kids, huh? They have such cheap-looking sticks and logs. See? My log is from one of the rarest trees in the world. Yeah, that's not a good thing, bud. Papa gave me this log. He said we'll need to take care of it until the bonfire is lit. So, meet Woodita. Yes. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Do you have any plans for 
next year? Well, um, there is no next year. <laughs> the food was quite delicious. I really like Pika's dishes. I wonder where Vincent and Kiha ran off to. Hope they don't get into trouble again. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Can you believe it? A few hours from now and we'll be in the, a whole new year, a whole new season. It's like we're starting all over again. Why do we have to climb up this mountain on a cold night this late? Should have been in a warm bed by now. The walk from the railroad was long, but I wouldn't miss Gus and Pika's pumpkin pie for the world. Happy New Year, hun. Stay warm. George doesn't seem to be too happy. I should go grab him a hot slice of pie. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Another year comes to an end. Yes, yes it does. Nothing beats a cold beer. Hope this festival ends soon, though. It's getting colder by the minute. beautiful mountain is very inspiring. I think my next painting will be called Winter and Richside. Let's hope the next one's better. Feel about that. Just something about tonight, especially when the fire is lit, really makes me want to sing my heart out. <laughs> Happy New Year, Jen. It's a tradition to make a wish after putting a log into the bonfire. Don't mind me, Jennifer. I'm just waiting for the bonfire. Ah, pale ale tastes much better in the cold. Live for these nights. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Hope Yobo's blessings are on or something for today. Yeah, words. <laughs> when Pika and Gus work together. They make some amazing dishes. It's time to welcome in a new year. Come visit me at the shop first thing in the morning, okay? I have some new seeds for sale. Donated a whole bunch of discarded firewood for this event. Does this mean I have hundreds of wishes? What wishes would you want, Robin? <laughs> Spirits be with us all as we go on our journey. I'm glad you've had a good year with us, Jennifer. Let's hope next year's a better one. Hmm. The structure is pretty solid, but what if we added a support beam there? Victor is lost in thought. It's so cold. Hey, don't judge me. It's colder up here than in Pelican Town. You are correct. That's what happens when you go on top of a mountain. <laughs> I'll never get used to the cold, especially this high up. Having a concert on this mountain top would be legendary. Thinking about it gives me the shivers, the good kind. Hmm, I bet this mountain would be great for skiing. Bet Corin and Yeza ski here every winter. Why do they have to burn all this wood? I hope you. I hope they didn't cut down too many trees for this purpose. Got a tree hugger over here. It's <laughs> like I didn't get enough accomplished this year. Gotta try harder during the next one. I brought a first aid kit just in case. Burns are common with these types of types of events, so it's best to be prepared. Hmm. Resolution, huh? I'll think about it. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to our wife. Happy New Year, Jeff. Oh, can I, can I not give her a New Year's kiss? That's sad. 
Let's talk, let me talk with all the, uh, the outcasts. Winter has completed her cycle. Pause for celebration. Is Rasmodius somewhere hiding in the background? It's not looking like it. I don't know where he is. Usually he's at one of these events. Just kind of hiding, though. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and talk with the, uh, the main people. Lenny organizes the Ember of Resolutions every year. She's much more organized than she looks. <laughs> Happy New Year, Jennifer. You know... I used to host massive New Year's event part New Year's Eve parties at the Zuzu University campus dorms. And now all I think about is budgets, paperwork, and the well-being of the villagers. Time really does change per a uh, person does that. Should we start the bonfire? It's getting close to midnight now. Yes. Let's go ahead. Finish this playthrough up. Welcome once again to everybody here. Before anything else, I'd like to thank my sister Lenny for organizing the Ember of Resolutions gathering every year. Thank you, Lenny. Oh, come on now, little bro. I'm just happy to end the year here with everyone gathered up around one big bonfire. It does warm my heart to see the citizens of two towns together on the last night of the year. And now, for the ceremony proper. Lenny? We gather here tonight as we spend the last hours of the year and the last hours of the playthrough together. And we welcome the new one. Well, maybe in a few years. <laughs> Around the bonfire, to be made with the lumber each has brought, we burn away what we wish to leave behind. We ignite the spark that fuels our very best tomorrows and the days beyond. Tonight, we gather with our loved ones, friends, acquaintances, and even strangers. Yes, even you, Jimmy. As we warm ourselves around the flame that everyone has ignited. Finally, done with that long ceremonious drivel, eh? And now, everyone can line up and drop in your logs. And with that, you burn and imprint into yourselves your resolutions. Don't take the last part too seriously now. And if you're into the hardcore stuff, I don't want to know. But we do have medical on standby. Isn't that right, Paula, Harvey, and Philip? My New Year's resolutions are... You don't get the now. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't really have one. It's not New Year's, it's like... <laughs> March. Right now. <laughs> I'm glad almost everyone put a log into the bonfire pit tonight. And this will be a big one. Now let's light it up. And done. Woo! Fires ablaze. Happy New Year, everyone. Look forward to another prosperous playthrough. A whole new year. Can't wait. 
All right. Let's go ahead. Break ourselves out of there real quick. And there's not really much else that I can sell. So might as well toss the few things that I can. I'll I'll hold on to like. Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just toss it all. <laughs> I don't think the geodes are worth anything, but... Alright, let's double check. Make sure there's nothing else. It's 1am. Technically it's the uh, first of the new year, but that's not how the game works, so... Sleep. Alright. Let's head to sleep one last night. See how much money we ended up with. Almost, almost one million. All right, I think that will bring us over five million. I think we'll, we'll see how much money we ended up with and I think we will call it the end of the series. Ah, oh, we're so close. Probably could have checked and see if we were able to sell anything else, but... Alright, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.